Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Code Syndicate. Today we will discuss tech and heap memory management system. So without wasting time, let's begin. First, I want to clear that tech and heap are not different in physical architecture but are only conceptually different. You might have heard tech and heap in somewhere in the related field. Tech is commonly termed in every language. This concept is widely used in the programming field. So first let's check what stack is all about. Now let's assume you have five books and you are storing all the books in a box. And whenever you want the book, you will take the book out of the box. For example, if you look at this image, you can see we have five books, book one, book two, book three, book four and book five. First, we have put this book one and then book two, then book three, book four and book five. Now, you want these books out of the box. When you remove the books, carefully check the order. First, you will remove book number 5, then 4, then 3, 2, and finally book 1. If you notice carefully, the last book you put on the box is the first one to be taken out. This book number 5 is the last book to be in this box and will be the first one to be removed from this box. Similarly, this book number one will be the first book we will put it in the box and will be the last one to be removed. This is called last in, first out or first in, last out. This type of arrangement is called tag. Now, let's check how stack is implemented in memory. Whenever we have any data in our program, it is stored in either stack or in heap, especially in case of Rust. Whenever we work in Rust, the Rust compiler allocates a portion of memory as stack memory. As you can see in the visual, it is a complete RAM memory of a system. Now, we have a Rust program which have some data to work on which needs to be saved in the memory by the program. Now Rust allocates a portion of memory to be used as stack. The size of this allocated memory for the stack depends on your program and how many variables of what sizes you are using. Rust compiler takes care of all of this. Now let's assume we have these four variables declared in our program in the given order of top to bottom. Variable under top is declared first and so on. Now you perform some operations using these variables and finally the program ends. First, Rust compiler checks all the codes and decides the size of the stack to be allocated in the memory. Here, if we add all the size of the variables, we get 64 bits. So, Rust compiler will allocate 64 bits for the stack. If you can see in this diagram, this is a complete set of memory. Out of this memory, the Rust compiler will allocate this 64 bit as the stack memory. Now, here, this is a complete 64-bit memory block. Now, when the program runs, first the variable 1 will be declared and will be stored in this tag memory, as you can see in this diagram. And as we move forward, the variable 2 will be executed and it will be saved in this tag memory, like this. First, you will have this first variable and then this second variable as we have discussed previously. Now, if we go next, we will have this variable 3 and variable 4. 
so in a stack the variables are stored this way the first variable to be declared will be stored in the very bottom of the stack and when we move further we'll have variables on top of it like as we declared variable 2 it will be saved in the top of the first variable and so on for this third element and this fourth element and whenever the program ends rust will clear this stack memory to clear this stack memory first what it does is it will remove this variable which is added at the last of this stack memory that is this four and after removing this four it will remove this three this two and this one and finally the stack memory will be free now let's discuss heap in some cases we will come in the scenario when we have to allocate a memory which is unknown in the compile time that is the size of the variable will depend on the runtime instead of the compile time in this case rust compiler will fail to allocate a memory in the stack as the memory size is unknown for this case rust compiler will find a free space out of the stack allocation as the allocated memory is this and this memory is used by the other program in our system and this this is used by our rust compiler and we have this free memory for our use so what the rust compiler does is it will allocate a memory for dead variable whose size is unknown so this memory is allocated by the rust compiler which is not in the stack but in the other parts of the memory which is free for our use so this concept is called heap so whenever a variable is saved out of the stack memory it is called the heap memory and the rust compiler retrieves the memory address of this allocated memory let's say the memory address for this allocated memory is 001 now this memory address will be stored in this stack memory this is because whenever rust program runs it will check this stack memory for the references of the variable and in our case let's say this variable is stored in the heap memory now rust needs this memory address to retrieve the value from this block like we discussed previously here you can see let's say this variable 2 is not representing the actual value but representing the memory address 001 from the heap memory so whenever the rust tries to retrieve it it will first check this stack and it will find the memory address for this heap memory block and by this way it will reach to this heap memory block and retrieves the data i hope you have understood the concept of heap and stack that is it for this video if you like the video press that like button and subscribe to my channel I will see you in the next video.